Hey everybody, so I wanted to uh, talk briefly today about a, a common myth that we hear in healthcare, um, that pain is a natural side effect of aging. So this is definitely something I hear and it's definitely not always true. And so I wanted to talk about some of the reasons why, um, things you can do to help prevent pain as you age. Um, arthritis and degenerative processes are uh, inherently a part of aging, and that's gonna happen. We all, we all go through it, our joints wear out, our tendons wear out over time. And after a certain age, we even start to lose muscle if we don't use it. Um, so all of these things can certainly contribute to pain with aging, but there's lots of things you can do to help prevent that. Uh, and it's very important to do those things because you wanna stay active, you wanna stay pain free and you know you don't want to necessarily have to come see someone like me to you know do injections on you so the losing muscle part is a big thing that you can't help for the most part you're going to start losing muscle gradually after about 30 even worse after 40. I'm in my 40s now so I'm definitely fighting that but the, the way you fight it is just by using the muscle by working out on a regular basis not just doing cardio like sitting on a treadmill or an elliptical, but by also using some weight training. So incorporating weight training with even light dumbbells or some of the machines in the gym, there's lots of ways you can do that. But using some resistance training with your muscles is a great way to help prevent that loss of the muscle. Um, there's even body weight stuff you can do. You don't even need any equipment, you know, from basic squats, uh, push-ups, you know, things like that, that where there's ways you can scale them to make them very basic and easy if you're just starting out with something like that um, to more advanced stuff. The, the other thing with the building the muscle is your muscle is what protects your joints. So all the muscles around your knee protects your knee joint. The muscles around your core and your back protect your spine. If those muscles get weaker, then you're not supporting your spine as much. And when you do things, you're now putting more force across your spine. And so over time, that's going to lead to degeneration of the bones and the tendons and things like that because it doesn't have the muscular support. So again, a lot of this comes back to doing regular activity, not just cardio exercise, but some resistance training for your muscles. Physical therapy can be a part of a training program because they can teach you oftentimes a lot of good things that you can do for different specific body parts or pain areas that you might have. But really the key is then to keep it up on your own. A lot of the reasons I think physical therapy fails is that people may go for a few weeks and they just, and then they stop doing it. They don't keep it up on their own. They don't do it at home. And so you're gonna really, you're gonna lose the benefits very quickly. Um, so another thing that uh, strengthening and activity does for you is it, it works on keeping your weight down. So, you know, the more weight that you carry, the more forces that are gonna be across your joints, which not only can lead to pain, but can then lead to an increase of that progression I talked about. So the activity is gonna, you know, the lighter you are, then, you know, your knees, your hips, all of your feet, your joints are just carrying less weight. And of course they have a less chance then of being painful. So although a lot of these things get more difficult to deal with as you get older, it's certainly, does not have to be a side effect of aging, pain, I mean. I, uh, I'm 46 now and I lift weights a lot and I, I don't have any pain. I deal occasionally with some, you know, little musculoskeletal issues that you might have come up if you do work out a lot, but those are minor in comparison to, I feel like what I would feel if I just, you know, sat around a lot and didn't exercise. So I really don't think pain has to be a natural side effect of aging. If you do the right things and stick with them, that's the key. You can't just do it for a week or two or even a month or two. You know, this has to become a part of your life um, because the other degenerative processes aren't gonna stop. You know, so you, you can't stop. You have to keep this up. So you have to somehow incorporate it into your life so that you won't quit on it. Uh, there's, there's a lot of great strategies to do that. Finding an activity that you like to do, that you actually enjoy, so that it's not a chore to go and exercise. Finding a partner or friend or a family member or a teammate, so to speak, someone that you go with to do these different activities. Someone who will call you if you don't show up and say, hey, where were you? You know, you need accountability. 
that's another good strategy to try and find something that you will stick with. Um, so that, that's my advice for ways to help prevent and reverse this myth uh, that pain is a part of aging and, and prove that it's not by you know, doing all these things I said and you know, hopefully you can live into your 80s or 90s with no pain.